National Teachers Academy is more than a school. It is a vibrant and tight-knit community. That sits on the edge of the fastest growing neighborhood in the city of Chicago. It is majority low income, majority African American school, and an extremely high performing level one school, which is the second highest rating that CPS has. And the model of what can happen when families and students, teachers and community members work together towards a common cause. There is this exceptional power that our community has to see our students succeed. And we have really devoted parents who oftentimes add new initiatives, bring new ideas to the school to enhance our community. Everyone here is committed to the students to making sure that the whole child is being serviced and not just the academic part in the classroom. And that includes not only our staff, but our families and former families and former students. At last check, there are only 16 CPS schools that have our exact same demographic profile within a system of hundreds of schools. So really, that, that's what makes us a unicorn. The place that we're standing here, in fact, used to be the site of the Harold Ickes homes. When NTA was first constructed, there was an extreme skepticism about the school and its role within the larger community. Ickes was still a up and running development, so NTA inherited the kids from Ickes, where it became their neighborhood school. Those first couple of years were a struggle with students getting adjusted to the new environment. Of course, they felt displaced initially. Um, they missed their old schools. Community members who lived in the homes will tell you themselves that they didn't believe that this was a school constructed for them. The Ickes housing projects were dismantled, um, which we actually were able to watch from our classroom windows. It was a pretty traumatic experience, I think, for the students and for the people that worked here because the Ickes were a part of NTA forming relationships with staff, with the school team, was very difficult. So for several years, NTA was a significantly underperforming school. Until we finally got a stable administration with Amy Rome. When I first got here, I was the fourth principal in five years. There was just a lot of discord and dissatisfaction from parents and families in the community. It was Amy who believed in getting to know families and parents and community members in a way that others before her had not been able to do. There was good craft happening in the building and kids and families weren't taking advantage of it because I think of the mistrust and so going out into the community like symbolically like saying we're not going to sit in the in the school and wait for you to come to us but like we want to be part of the community. When she established those relationships is when the school began to rise. My first year as principal at NTA was school year 2013. And that year, NTA fell to a level three school. So after that school year, we didn't have a summer off. We spent hours and hours each day planning what the next school year would look and feel like. The NTA way, when I arrived, consisted of four core principles focused on the value of respect. NTA was ready for something more aspirational. When we revamped it a few years ago, I thought the process was really amazing. The NTA way is a collaboration between all the key stakeholders in our school. As a school community, students, parents, came together and really set a vision for what we wanted for our students. Which is the four core values of courage, commitment, awareness, and integrity. And I think what's really great about the NTA way is that it talks about a variety of aspects. So this idea of integrity is, yes, something we value, but so is commitment. The fact that we value commitment, but we also value courage, and then also awareness. So I'll read a, a book that's associated with each component of the NTA way, and we talk about what it means and kind of how they can apply that. Instead of having a really narrow, like, I want to be on the honor roll and I want to have perfect attendance, I feel like they're vision of what makes a strong person includes those values. That to me is the strength of what we're instilling in our students. Through the NCA way, our children are learning more about themselves, learning about others, and they're more aware and more understanding of the community around them, and they've taken steps to enhance the community around them. They did a water drive for Flint, Michigan when they found out about the injustice that was happening in that community. They organized the transportation to and from Flint. They promoted it among our community. I've had students run and organize a food drive after they um, tweeted about things that they cared about in their community and then thinking about what action can go with that. It was all done completely by students. The student experience here is that they see themselves as an agent of change. 
So it's not just about the addition and subtraction or learning how to read, but learning how to be a citizen. And whether that means raising money for breast cancer awareness, bringing water to Flint, or standing up for their school community, they always see their role as being a leader in that. We've always had a theme of social justice throughout the school and made it a priority to celebrate our students and to celebrate their identity. We always did museum walk where students had a chance to display some learning on a social justice topic. And teaches our students from a very young age about what's going on in the world and having a voice. And how they play a role in not only the world, but their local community and their school community. Having left NTA and worked in other school communities, I'm even more convinced that it's a unique collective disposition in this school, um, and it's a pretty special place. So this year, our school mission, our school mantra, is plan, persist, and prevail. Plan comes from the importance of planning each and every lesson out effectively and intentionally. Persist was chosen because this year we're continuing with some key initiatives that we dove headfirst into last year, such as restorative practices. The last word, prevail, has a multitude of meanings. First of all, we set really ambitious outcomes for our children and for our staff. It's going to take a lot of planning, a lot of persistence for us to prevail and meet each and every one of those benchmarks. But there's also another element that includes our entire community, which involves the proposal to turn NTA into a high school. How I would describe what's currently happening to NTA is a story that I think the black community here in the South Loop knows really well. It's a story of displacement. It's a story of taking over a community without thinking about impact. And our parents haven't had a voice in it. We haven't had a voice and we're called to the table at the end for a decision that seems to already have been decided. And without regard for all the wonderful things that are going on at this school, well, level one school, hopefully soon to be level one plus. So many families have spoken out and have acted in favor and in support of NTA that the word prevail has a special meaning for our entire community as well. I have five children, three already graduated, and I also have 11 nieces and nephews who are 10 years, so I am NTA. What we do here is special, and for it to be taken away or changed or altered in a way that the community that helped to build what's here now, where they have not been involved or haven't had a voice, I think it's a classic picture of injustice. But one I feel like we can continue to fight and prevail in because of what our kids are, are doing and what they deserve. It's unfair, and we're going to fight. NTA has become a place that has created both a strong culture and community and an academically rigorous environment. And when we look across this system, um, it should be held up as a model. So the best case scenario is that leave us where we are, let us grow and continue to be excellent, let us reach our level one plus status, um, and be a shining beacon you know, uh, of, of what to do right.